Oh my god, Becky, look at his leg. It's like so nasty. What is his problem? I mean, has he ever heard of cleaning his bike or his chain or his chain ring? And what about soap? I mean, I can't believe anybody would just drive that around. I mean, look at it, it's so black. Yes, it's true. I like clean chains and I shall not lie. Hi, I'm Scott. Give me my mic love. Thanks for tuning in. And today we're going to look at your chain and some of the best ways or easy ways to keep it clean and keep that black mark off the inside of your right calf where you when you drag your leg across your chain or on your chain ring. So that's a sign that you're neglecting your chain ring, neglecting cleaning your bike, and you just don't care. And you're going to have premature failure if you don't stay on top of it. Now that mark, it's called a Cat 5, which means Category 5, which it's got that name because road racers, the entry level is Category 5, then it goes 4, 3, 2, 1, then Pro. Uh, mountain biking, you have Cat 3, 2, 1, then Pro. So, but it's called a Cat 5, so live with it. Uh, and it is a sign that you're new, you're not paying attention, not keeping things clean, and you have no awareness of where the bike is in relation to your body. So we're going to figure out how we can take care of that mark and more importantly, take care of your chain and drive line today. So today we're going to take a look at two products. Uh, one's finish line speed degreaser and another one is called muck off degreaser. Both of these claim to be a dry chain clean, meaning that once you spray it on, it's supposed to dissolve Dissolve or blow away dirt and grime and then dries where you don't have to wipe it and you can just apply lube. That's what they both claim. They both claim to be quick and efficient. And if that's possible, I'm all about quick and efficiency, especially if it comes down to cleaning something as nasty and that gets as dirty as often as a chain and, and, the, and the drive line. And if it can help me keep that, that nasty, hairy, black mark off the inside of my calf, the better. First up, Finish line speed degreaser. It's in a pressurized can that will literally claims anyway to blow away dirt and grime and grease off your chain ring, off your chain, off your cassette, off the pulleys on your derailleur. That's what it claims to do. So we're going to test it out and see exactly what it does. It's formulated with special solvents specifically for mountain bikes and motorcycle chains and degreasers, and it's not harmful for your frame. If you have the factory finish on your frame, uh, they do recommend you picking a small spot. And of course, all these cleaning companies do that, of course, to, so you don't sue them. Pick a small spot to test it on and make sure it doesn't eat through your paint and make it bubble up or destroy it. Finish line speed degreasers claims to be one of the fastest to dissolving those organic materials off your chain and off your drive line and it claims to do it blowing away and then it dries within seconds, 30 seconds, then you can apply loop after it's clean. Sounds easy, but is it easy? Next product we're going to look at is very reputable company, just like Finish Line, but it's called Muckoff. Muckoff has a full line of uh, bike cleaning materials and supplies as well as frame and bike protectants and things of that nature. And they also support a lot of the crank works competitions and downhills and races and, and things of that nature. So they're a, they're a good company and they're a, they're an advocate company for bicycling, specifically mountain biking. Muckoff claims this. They claim advanced dry chain degreaser quickly eliminates buildup of oil, grease, and grime without the need for rinsing. Uh, it's unique dry zero residue. That's patented on that zero residue formula. Uh, means that after cleaning, it just evaporates. It goes nowhere. And then you can apply the loop. It's supposed to work on even the toughest of grimes and grit in between the links. It's supposed to clean everything. It does say after you shake the can, you apply it, that you just clean it with a rag and, and scrub it with a scrub brush. So we'll 
try these things and we'll see which one of these works the best, if they work at all. How can we incorporate these things? How can we use these things? How can we make it so much better and rewarding and easier for us so we will keep our chains and drive lines clean to save us money in the future and avoid that mark on our legs, that cat five, that newbie mark, that newbie tattoo. And Muckoff also claims to be safe for factory paint jobs. It's a good thing because I got the feeling these both of these are going to spray all over my frame. Okay, let's put these products to the test. All right, everything's set up except for one thing I like to do if I'm going to spray anything, and that's cover up my disc and brake pads in case any overspray gets on them and contaminates them. And if the pads get contaminated, you'll have to replace them. Uh, and it can also blow grease and grime onto the rotor and pads as well, so we don't want that to get on there. And there's my chain. Hard to see how dirty it is at this point, but it is pretty nasty. I use a dry lube. So it kind of gets a white cakey mixed with black grease on it. All right, gonna start with the speed degreaser. And it really, it works like it says. Uh, it comes out very quickly. It's a pressurized can. It does blast away at least surface level grease and grime off the chain, off the cassette. And my goal here was to clean just half the chain, half the cassette, and save a little bit for the muck off so we can have the same level of grease to test it on. Uh, one problem is it comes out so fast, I know, is that you got to be really careful with this speed degreaser can. Uh, if I was going to clean this whole chain, I got the feeling it would be, I would be out and that would be $15 down the drain. So best to be careful with it. Would have been better to have a red straw on it so I can pinpoint where I'm actually aiming this thing so I could pinpoint the grease spots that I want gone. Uh, didn't work very well on the pulleys, but it's so caked on. I'll have to pull that off by hand. There's so much grease on there. Um, after I sprayed it, I did the white rag test and there was some black residue on the surface. And then I checked the chain internals and there is a little grit and grime. I can feel the grit and grime inside the linkage of the chain, which I don't want that. That's what causes wear and tear. So I'm going to spray that one spot See if I can at least get that you know, feeling smooth. Check it again, and it does. But that's just not economical to use a whole can like that on each individual link. There's better ways to do it. So I almost used the whole can of finish line within about five minutes trying to get the grease and grime off. All right, I'm going to reset the chain, get ready for the muck off. All right, Muckoff, you've got a good-looking can. you got a good-looking display in the bike shop. got a good-looking color scheme with purple and black. What do you got? Uh, first impressions, it's not a pressurized can, so it doesn't blast anything away. That's why they did say you need to scrub and wipe the grease away yourself. Uh, good thing on that is, is that it doesn't come out so fast so you're not going to waste it and it's a lot easier to pinpoint where you want it and up on the chain ring though wasn't going to get that grease up on the chain ring it was all it did was just move it around it was all greasy grimy um and so i got my brush out and started scrubbing like it said to do and since it doesn't blast away it's really kind of hard to get the grease and grime to to detach from the chain and especially the chain ring so I can see this would take a, a lot of work to use this to get the grease and grime and grit out of your out of your chain. I'm not sure it would get the grit out in between the links because it's just it needs to be scrubbed on the inside and washed away somehow. Now the, the muck off wasn't really going to touch much on the chain ring. And I tried to scrub it clean. I really saved some of it for the muck off. Couldn't get it to work. So I picked up the finish line back up. Had a little bit left. Sprayed it right off. And uh, you can see how, just how shiny it is. And this stuff is perfect for pin point dirt and grease that you just want to spray off. Uh, I know mechanics love it because you can just spray just small parts of a dirty bike, greasy bike, just so you can work on things. So that is definitely the finish line sh strength. And I believe the muck off strength would be it doesn't come out as fast. So you can take kind of take it with you for a quick clean if you're out on the trail somewhere or you're out of town or camping or whatever. So I hit that 
chain ring pretty good and it I'm happy with that it just comes out so fast so back back to the muck off um, I gave it a shot tried to get it on that chain really scrub really clean it just doesn't get the grit out in between the individual links it's good on the surface but it's the dirt on the inside that's going to cause the damage you know you might not have a mark on your leg but it's that inside dirt that really makes a difference with with your components so i feel like the best habit to get into is just a good old chain cleaning kit i use my park tool chain cleaning kit i've had it about 25 years i'm using the muck off degreaser kudos to them it works really well and i've only i've used it three or four times and i've I've still got half a bottle left so kudos to that because that lasts a long time a lot of the these cleaner and degreasers liquids only last about three cleanings so again 25 year old kit muckoff makes one i think finish line makes one pedro's makes one uh, that's really the best way to do it and you just you know fill it up in the container slap it on the chain go back seven times do that twice and then after that you'll want to go with water uh, to get all the old degreaser off and that way the so the lube will stick after it dries and then that is just perfect i mean there's no grit in between the links when you clean a chain this way so that's what i recommend that you're getting a hold of really worth it but all three of these products have their strengths just so you know if you didn't notice i mean and like i said i use a dry chain lube it goes on wet and it dries so it does leave a bit of a coating on my chain to help protect it that can be a little difficult to remove uh, both of these do work to help remove that but i would say if you use a wet lube these products will work even better if you're going down the wet lube chain lube for your chain and drop anyway finish line speed degreaser does do what it claims to do it does blast away dirt grease and grime but at the same time it also is very quick to blast away about 15 bucks because this stuff comes out quick and i can't imagine you using this stuff on a whole chain all the time you go broke just using it there's more efficient ways money wise to get it done but for your quick little shot maybe a tough area uh something on the cassette or on the chain ring you just wanted to hit real quick this stuff's perfect and i know this i know that bike shops love this stuff it is basically it is a a staple in bike shops to use this finish line speed degreaser because it works so well if you want to clean parts and there's grease and grime around them they just hit it with this stuff and it just blows it away and they can let it drop in a garbage can and um, and i know for a fact bike shops love it if it works for them that says a lot for this product i do recommend that you get the little red plastic straw it should come with it if not get one put it on the end of this thing so you can easily more direct where you spray you will get overspray on the frame but just so you can easily hit the mark you're trying to hit so you don't waste it you know this stuff works uh, of course it works it's blowing pressurized solvents at dirt it's gonna work at the same time like i said you go through it rather quickly i would save it for the toughest of spots and then uh but i mean if you're in a if you're in a rush you gotta get something clean it'll it'll work and again the muck off i believe they're coming out with a pressurized version soon but as far as the one i use today the the dry clean spray it on and then you wipe it clean or scrub your components clean uh, i believe it does a decent job especially making things shiny and new but it's not really going to blow away any grit and grime inside the chain links and that's really your your issue here is dirt that's inside in between the individual links that's what you want to get clean so i'm not really worried about the outside of the chain being clean and shiny or even not getting the mark on my leg uh, as much as I am about making sure these things are clean down in the tiniest of components so they don't wear each other out. For my chain, I must go back to my 25-year-old solution, my Park Tool Chain Cleaning Kit. Now, Muck Off does have one as well. I'm sure Finish Line does too. 
and it works really well. It works the same as my, my, my part tool. I've had it for 25 years. It's the best investment I ever made as far as cleaning supplies go. It gets all the grit and grime out in between the links. It even helps clean the front chain ring and the rear cassette. Worth the investment and it doesn't take that much degreaser in it to, to clean your chain with. I've been using Muckoff's degreaser solvent liquid to get my chain clean and I've used it maybe three or four times and I'm not even half a bottle yet. So it's worth it. Get the chain clean. Spend the time, clean your chain the right way. But let's say you're on a multi-day ride. You're camping and you've got grit and grime in your chain. You got to get this thing clean and you don't have water really available to, to rinse the degreaser off. So I would say, you know, this, this muck off spray or this finish line spray together would do a good job of getting off the, some of the initial grit and grime so you can re-lube it if you're on a multi-day ride, especially if you're in a sandy area where sand will get into your components, you know, and in between your chain links and do even more damage. So I believe these products have their place and uh, worth, worth having if you're in a rush or a hurry, but don't let it be a substitute for totally cleaning your chain. So you might as well take your time and do it right. Besides, the finish line that works a little better than muck off is gonna spray all over your frame anyway. So you're gonna, you really wanna wash it. So if you're gonna wash it, you might as well just do it right. So my recommendation is finish line, spray the front chain ring and the cassette, get all that grease and grime out of that and spray the pulleys on the derailleur. Then get the chain cleaning kit with a, with a degreaser and clean the chain thoroughly and work it, work, work it up and down the gears and it sh everything should be pretty clean by then. Now those pulleys, they get loaded with grease and grime and it does take a little more effort. Nothing really cuts through pulley grease that well if you let it, if, if, it just, if you just neglect it for a while. You kind of have to get a rag and just pick the dirt off and the grass out and just kind of clean that yourself. And it takes a little more effort to clean those pulleys, but it's worth it because your chain's rolling through there. So you want to, what's the use of having a clean chain? If you have dirty pulleys, it's just going to dirty your chain back up and get more grease and grime in there. So make sure you clean those pulleys. And then I'd save the muck off and the finish line if I wanted to primarily use the chain, if I just didn't have access to my chain cleaning kit or, or water to, to rinse the degreaser off that the chain cleaning kit uses. So there you go. There's my input on these two chain cleaning chemicals and uh, how effective they are, uh, what's best to use them for. So I hope this helps. Again, I'm Scott, Newbie Mountain Bike Love. Thanks for tuning in. Oh my god, Becky, look at his leg and driveline. They're like so clean. Like, he looks like he really knows what he's doing. It takes care of his stuff.